great time freezing his ass off. It's uh, pouring rain out here right now. We're just in this shelter. We just pulled over. That's the road down there that we came across. We just saw the shelter and we just pulled in quick. Turn right. Turn right. Can do it. Don't let it drop, don't let it drop. Going too fast. Here, can we get it out of there for you? First gear, number one, number one, not number two, number one, number one. One or two? You know, first gear or second gear? One, number one. Yes! It's way better. No, no. You have way more power to get over a, a, a rock in first. Way too fast. There you go, perfect! It's way easier! You don't touch a clutch, you just go through! One steady speed! No! Because it'll climb over the rocks better! Gear's the best. Nice and steady, just go. Terry's gonna go crazy because he thinks he's gotta go super fast, but he doesn't. This is our little uh, stove setup. This is how we eat at night. We got some noodles and a can of soup, some alcohol, and this Toronto guy's on his phone non stop. Can't, 
I'm getting back to all my friggin' uh, members here, man. Steve's eating tuna out of a can. See, Tara? We're eating like champs. I love it. Champs. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Tara thinks you're, you're not eating and showering. Steve just had a nice hot shower. We're gonna go skinny dipping in the river later. And this is our Campbell's chunky soup we're gonna heat up on the stove. Mm. Oh, this Extra is large <laughs> Timmy's coffee. This is what Steve's drinking out of a pot. He made coffee. Oh so good. God. This is our campsite for the night. This is Terry's fourth time camping. He's setting up his tent yet again. This is his bike. He's putting through hell. This is uh, Stephen's uh, casket casket tent. It's for midgets. <laughs> very spacious. Yeah, very spacious. Look at this and, thing. Uh, I'm not freezing every morning. Oh my god. Yeah, because he's wearing like 18 layers of clothes and a hat and a winter jacket. I really want to have I love yeah. We have a beautiful river. The river runs through the campground. It's beautiful. We're gonna go swimming after. Maybe I'll take you with us. At least I'm gonna go swimming. There's my blue tent over there. Bike all loaded up. Terry's still trying to figure out what these poles are for. Yeah, he's getting a lesson in life. A motorcycle lesson, 101. started 40 years ago. Yeah, he's 40 years old. He's like 64. He's ready to retire next month. <laughs> and he starts dirt biking. Steve's camo tent. Cover covering up his casket. Yeah. My little tent's way over there. It's flat ground. Penthouse. Yeah, it's my roomy tent. Oh my crap. That's it for now. Now we have some rednecks over there. We don't talk to them. They think we're weird. Four hours later, Steve is still blowing up his shit. Four hours later. <laughs> this is four hours later. Jerry's still fucking trying to figure out this tent. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh my god. Yeah, it's very twisted. Look at it. Did you see that? You get the. Oh my god. He's looking for a place with no rocks, and uh, uh, all I see is rocks here. You see, you see over there, there's no rocks. It's all just dirt. So he likes the gravel rocks all day today. He's, <laughs> now he wants to sleep on top of them. <laughs> it's really cold. place for kayaking. We've got major cliffs going straight up here. This place is for sale. It looks like it's about 40 acres. Probably get it for like 350. It's beautiful. So Steve wiped out today, low-sided his bike on gravel trails and broke his shifter off. And this is what he's come up with. 
a bolt and my wire and my pliers used to connect this together. This is what you get when you buy a Kawasaki. <laughs> to mention I pissed off a guy in oh, a jeep. And a, an 85 year old man in a jeep was going like three mile an hour down the trail and Steve couldn't wait to the next corner for him to pull over. So he blew by the guy, shocked him, he's probably have a stroke on the side of the trail and continued to low side it right in front of the jeep. And then he was too scared that the jeep guy was going to come back and yell at us once he comes around once we were fixing his bike. Unbelievable. That's fun though. <laughs> and then we got the Toronto guy making cell phone calls in the middle of a river. He's oh. never been by a river before. <laughs> <laughs> That's his tent eight hours later. <laughs> That's his condo in the bush. Yeah. He's, he keeps asking where Tim Hortons is and why the cell signal. He's never seen cell signal not have on his phone.